Little Leaf's Journey, written by Laura Baker, illustrated by Liliana Perez. In the middle of the forest, in the middle of a tree, standing tall on a strong branch, there lived Little Leaf. In the summer sun, this leaf shone green and bright in its woodland home. It spent its days dancing with the other leaves in the breeze, listening to the songs of birds passing by and giving shade to picnickers below. The days were long, the light was bright and life was good. Then one day, the temperature turned cool, clouds rolled in and the air got crisp. The sun went to bed early, it was autumn. Little Leaf noticed the leaves around it starting to change colour. Reds, oranges, yellows. Was Little Leaf changing too? Little Leaf quivered as other leaves started to fall to the ground. The wind blew strong and rain beat down. But Little Leaf clung on tight. Suddenly, a storm blew in. The wind was stronger than Little Leaf had ever felt before. Hail hit the tree with a strength the leaf could not match. Little Leaf swayed this way and that. It held on with its stem until it could hold on no longer. As the storm let up, Little Leaf fluttered to the forest floor. But it didn't stay there for long. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Little Leaf flew into the air with its colourful leaf friends. It soared through the sky and then stopped suddenly, feeling a warm touch as it swirled around and around until it was dizzy. It fell into the river and travelled down, down, downstream until a bird picked it up with a twig for its nest. Then the wind caught it again and Little Leaf sailed lightly on the breeze. Little Leaf landed on the forest floor once more. It shivered as it snuggled in with the other deciduous leaves. Their bright colours had dimmed and some were going brown. Was Little Leaf changing too? The evergreens broke up the brown of the forest with their waxy green needles, but the home Little Leaf knew was no longer sunny and bright. The seasons were changing again. Winter was here. Snow landed gently on Little Leaf. It felt cold and wet. Flake after flake fell until soon Little Leaf could see no more. But whatever the weather above, in the dark blanket under the snow, magic was happening. Little Leaf felt light again as its nutrients were absorbed into the ground. They travelled through the earth and spread out to new places. Then they waited. Spring arrived with a burst of sunshine and birdsong. Buds appeared, stems uncurled, and creatures stretched and squinted as they woke from their long winter naps. Little Leaf didn't wake with the rest of them. In fact, Little Leaf was no longer a leaf at all. Instead, it was now part of the trees and the new young leaves and the food for the animals and the vibrant soil. The sun was out, the forest was green and life was good. Life was everywhere.